Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today, we're on Fade Cloud's brand new Dungeons Realm reset. Now, if you don't know what Dungeons is, it's basically a game mode that's specific to Fade Cloud and is very customized to Fade Cloud. But basically, it's a simulator game mode. You rank up your swords, you go through different swords, you can enchant your swords, you can go through different zones, killing different mobs with there being auto kill. So, basically, what I mean by that is if I go ahead and kill, start killing this mob, I'm not clicking my mouse or anything thing it's basically auto hitting it so i guess auto hit not auto kill but we are starting a brand new series on here as they just reset this realm i haven't played on dungeons in a while and so they've had multiple different seasons this is actually map four as you can see on the right side um on my scoreboard but uh yeah we're gonna be getting started now if you want to check out the server make sure you're using my ip which is slate.fadecloud.com and also in today's video we're giving away a thousand clouds which is basically worth ten dollars and you can buy ranks crazy keys and everything here on fade cloud with cloud so to enter into that leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and drop your minecraft username in the comment section all right we have 1.5k which is the amount you need to buy a pet and basically there's pets for every single zone so we're gonna go and buy one but pets are really important because they give you a multiplier on the damage so i'm pretty sure that that's what it is so we got a basic pet which is not very good at the beginning i mean it is kind of good but obviously when we get to the next zone and able to kill those mobs there's a more there's more pets over there as you can see and if i do slash rank up up. we need let me go and look into oh my god i literally cannot type fifteen thousand to get to the next rank which is basically the next zone so and then as far as prestiging how much does that cost 100 billion holy smoke so we got a while before we can prestige but i want to go ahead and hit slash cloud shop and buy myself an admin crate to start out this series because why not with some clouds oh my gosh it's a little animation you'll love to see it five cyborg oil wait what in the world are cyborgs i did not know i did not know they added cyborgs i have no idea what those are galaxy helmet we got souls robot which is gonna be very helpful and then more cyborg oil when the world is this cyborg oil can be applied to your cyborg to increase the level each cyborg oil will raise it by one so if I do slash cyborg is this like pets because there's slash pets but this must be oh I don't exactly know what cyborgs are we'll have to figure out that but a galaxy helmet that is going to give us plus one grind lucky and super keys that's going to be sick and then a robot which is going to be start generating us passive souls which you'll love to see now as far as i am looking at my sword obviously the beginning is going to be a little slow i got to get money got to get souls and start upgrading the pickaxe but right now i went ahead and used my souls i don't have much but i just use it on soul greed just to help me get souls and then i feel like yo bomb blast this is a new thing uh chance to tick off a time bomb causing 100 percent damage okay i believe that is a new enchant i don't know when it was added but since i last played that is new but as of now i'm just going to conti continue grinding through um this zone and uh then i think okay so when do i unlock this sword okay this sword costs 1k which i actually probably should have bought this next sword this rusty sword before buying a pet but uh yeah now, now you know but yeah i'm gonna keep grinding these chickens until i get 1k and then go and buy this first or second sword okay so in chat i just completed the battle pass so if i do slash pass i didn't even realize there's one but 10 million souls for the free pass which is massive holy cow the battle pass is already looking like it's going to be very very overpowered but now if i go and I click the sword i think what we want to do is probably continue with soul greed i can get 402 levels of soul greed i mean hawkeye increased the chance of a critical while attacking you have a chance of critical okay what exactly i feel like soul greed is the best to start upgrading with i, I think so i'm gonna go and do that and then obviously we want to focus on hawkeye and critical as well but just to get 400 levels of soul greed will help all right so we actually got 1k so now if i go ahead and buy the rusty sword there we go we are doing three damage as you can see is popping up above the chicken's head instead of one damage which is very helpful now the next sword is going to be costing me 3.5k so i definitely want to buy that before i rank up because as you can see ranking up costs 15k so i want to buy basically every sword i can before ranking up so we'll probably want to get to the keen sword which is going to cost 12.25k up until i rank up so that's basically what i'm going to be grinding oh my gosh i i don't know if words are making sense boys but basically that's what i'm going to grind on and i'll bring y'all back probably once we get the keen sword and then we'll rank up we now have enough money to get the sharp sword so we're going to go ahead okay we, we should in just a second wait what a minute wait wait wait, wait. i have 3.5k why can i not oh we have it there we go i think because i was trying to buy it when i didn't have 3.5k but then when the mob was dying okay that doesn't make sense whatever it doesn't matter but i went ahead and did slash crates and i saw i have 15 elite crates no idea how i got these we're gonna go and redeem all those we actually got three cube boxes which is nice let's go and open those see if we got any good cubes Ooh, unique cube it is a 61 chance to apply and it's a 10 percent boost 
of Lucky. Uh, I'm guessing that is for the Lucky Enchant to give you keys, which is nice. And then we also got a Soul Greed and a Gem Greed. So let's go ahead and just try to throw on the Lucky. I doubt it'll work. Oh, wait, do we just right click it? Bang. Uh, failed. Oh my gosh. And the Soul Greed failed. Oh my gosh. And the Gem Greed failed. You hate to see it all of it failed. But also, I go ahead and do slash crates. So your boy got himself his hands on a monthly crate. Uh, why not? I mean, it's episode one of the brand new series and it's loud in my ears. I might turn it down in the recording. Sorry if that was really loud. But we got five dark cyborg boxes. So we get to see what the cyborg boxes are. And global money booster and global soul boosters just activated in chat. That is freaking massive. So 2x boosters on money and soul for the next what is that 30 minutes um yeah so that is going to be massive that's very helpful let's freaking go so we're going to be getting a lot more souls and all that from these chickens which will allow us to rank up a lot easier but as far as these cyborg boxes we actually got a total of 10 we also got another souls booster we got a booster box a mystery box oh okay so we can get a random boosters from those and we still got the cyborg freaking uh, oil which we'll be using here in a sec so bang open all 10 of these boxes all right and cyborg so we got a sword cyborg robot cyborg soul cyborg gym cyborg okay so so Jim Cyborg, a unique one that's really good that we just got. And basically, I think these are kind of like pets on prisons in Skyblock from the looks of it. And yeah, that's exactly what it is. So we're going to go and activate all the ones we can. We got a Souls here, Jim's here, Sword here. I think those are. And then there's a Robots one. So I don't know how many total Cyborgs there are, but we just got a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these three for sure. Bang, there we go. And so now if I do slash cyborg, I think, or slash, oh, is my caps lock on? Is that why? Cyborg, there we go. These are activated. Sure enough, let's freaking go. So as you can see, souls increase the amount of souls I gain, gems increase the amount of gems I gain, and sword XP is increasing the amount of sword XP, which is my sword level, which it alternatively lets me upgrade different enchants on my sword so cyborgs are freaking massive i'm gonna go and save the cyborg oil until i get my cyborgs to a uh, higher level because that's when it's harder to upgrade them i don't want to waste oil right now but uh that's sick also with my souls i got i'm gonna go ahead and start putting them all on critical as you can see the activation rate is a one right now so while attacking you have a chance to deal 118 percent critical damage which is kind of nice so the activation rate i think stays at one just as you upgrade or level this up it gets a higher percent critical damage i think that's how it's working but yeah we're killing these mobs so much easier now i'm gonna go ahead and start killing the dark chickens and uh i'm probably about to rank up here in a second all right this is so satisfying i'm literally two tapping all of these common chickens now that i got this op sword so it's so much more satisfying than the beginning of the video but i can basically rank up into the next zone right now but before i do that what i want to do is buy as many pets as i can from this first zone's pet um area if that makes sense so basically i want to try to get all the pets i can hold um as many so i want to hold five pets right now before i enter into the next zone um so yeah i'm just gonna gather a crap ton of money I actually might have enough right now so if i fly over this i can buy nine pets for like nothing 15k or something so we're gonna go and get nine pets hopefully we get some rare and some as you can see we got okay it looks like we got two rare in chat so if i do slash pets we're gonna go ahead and apply all the pets which gives me a booster if i do slash booster it should tell me my money booster is 10x so that helps a lot as you can see pets are very important also now what i'm gonna do before ranking up just because it's easier is actually i guess i can slash rank up right now there we go so now we're in the desert rank above my name is desert no longer a farmer but uh okay these mobs as you can see 1.3k health i kill them pretty fast so that's that's gonna be nice but yeah now we're into the next rank what i want to go ahead and check out the next rank slash rank up is gonna cost me 900k okay and then these pets how much is it gonna cost me for a pet so 24 point or uh, 24.9k per pet okay nice so i want to get these pets asap as soon as i get the money to so yeah i'm basically gonna as soon as i get the money of 24k i'm gonna go and buy pets and then once i get enough pets i'm gonna i'm then gonna start doing uh slash swords and going up in the sword tiers all the way probably up until the demon or terror sword because ranking up costs 900k so uh yeah hopefully that's all making sense but i'm back on the grind also from the looks of it if i type in slash cyborgs all of my 
pets are leveling up basically the same way. So I'm guessing um, how all cyborgs, sorry, I said pets, I meant cyborgs. All cyborgs level up the same way, no matter what it kind of um, cyborg it is. And it's just by killing mobs. So that's kind of nice to know. Uh, but I thought I'd uh, keep you all updated on that. All right. So we went ahead and ranked up to the magical rank, which will put us in this zone. We also went ahead and bought a lot more pets. So all desert pets. And as you can see, the multiplier is a lot higher. And if I go and look at the sword shop, the demon sword we have unlocked. So now we can kill these strays. As you can see, now I probably want to start in the common because it's going to take me forever to kill those dark strays. But uh, yeah, basically going to go through the same process I've been going through. Um, as in like upgrading swords, buying pets, and so on. We also got 2.29 million souls. I'm going to go ahead... I don't know. Do I want? Okay, no. I'm not gonna go ahead and put any more on soul greed because that wouldn't really put a dent. Soul greed is 47 more levels. I want to see. We can get 360 on bomb blast. We can get 54 more on critical. We can get only seven on Hawkeye. Holy cow! Hawkeye is not easy to rank up. You know what I probably should do is get the lucky. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because if I go ahead and look at my cyborgs, I'm pretty sure or cyborgs still aren't a type. Pretty sure I have a. Wait, I thought I had a cyborg, huh? Oh, the helmet. Okay, I was talking about the helmet. The galaxy helmet, as you can see, when equipped, gain plus one grind, lucky, and super keys, which is basically from the key finder enchant, which I think is the same thing as the lucky enchant. As you can see, I don't think there is a key finder. So I'm pretty sure that is, uh, yeah, that'll help me. Uh, now I can actually use my helmet. This was really doing nothing for me before, but now it'll actually help. I just figured out something very important, and this is companions. I have no idea exactly what these are, but in chat, it randomly said you received the stray companions, uh, companion 791 damage. So I did what the heck? I did slash companions, and I got some more earlier, but basically it's an attack companion. I can equip three at once, and this one I got 791 damage, and I was confused, so I just started killing mobs. And as you can see, when I kill the mobs, above their head, 884, 884, 884. So I think it's just doing and adding more damage to the mob, which is super sick. I, I mean, that's very important. I had no idea. I mean, obviously, these lower companions aren't as good, but I'm guessing once we get into the higher ranks, the companions will be a lot better. So I wish I knew this earlier, but uh, yeah, it's still good. Now, as far as ranking up, as you can see, 54 million, which we'll get here in a second. Um, I'll probably get the magma sword before I do that, but I want to go ahead and buy nine more magical pets. We already do have multiple magical pets equipped, but I want to see if I can get any rare. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got one rare, which is actually really good. So if I do slash pets, I'm going to go unequipped all of these. And I like how this system naturally ranks the best at the top. So I can just do that and then bulk delete all the other ones. So now we have a lot better pets and we should be ready for the next zone, which shouldn't take long to get to. I just need, how much was it again? and it's 54 million also if i go ahead and tap into slash crates we finally got some of these grind cake crates we haven't got any lucky or super crates and then if i do slash pass we actually unlocked the tier two so 25 million more souls bang there we go so now we have 29 million souls i want to go ahead and upgrade more i can do the critical for 290 we can do bomb blast which i don't know if i've seen this proc yet but uh, it, I think it's pretty good and then we can get 400 more levels of soul greed So what I'm gonna do is get 150 levels of this uh, Critical and then put the rest on soul greed as I think critical and soul greed are the best you want to start out with Also one thing I want to let y'all know if you didn't know about in every single zone There's this afk stray or afk mob So if you're going afk you can just hit it and then leave and it basically will never die. It just kind of sits there. It's not obviously as OP as killing these mobs, but if you're going AFK, you can uh, still hit this mob and then go AFK and it'll still make you money and souls and all that. So just wanted to make sure all of y'all did know that was a thing. But that is going to end off this episode on the new dungeon season here on Fade Cloud. Make sure you're using my IP when joining the server, which is slate.fadecloud.com. But I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to enter in the Thousand Clouds giveaway in this one, which will be rolled in the next one. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.